These are germs. And if there's one thing we know about germs, it's that they live to spread. Know their favorite method? Hands. Because hands get them to pencils and doorknobs and books and dolls and spoons and beanbag chairs. Where are they can find other hands? But there's a solution. Proper hand washing. Start with warm water. Get those germ factories wet. Apply soap and lather for 20 seconds. About the same amount of time it takes to sing the alphabet song. Scrub between your fingers, around nail beds, under fingernails, on the backs of your hands, and up your wrists. Nice work. Now rinse your hands under the warm running water. Oops, don't touch the faucet yet. Next, take a clean paper towel and dry your hands well. Then use the paper towel to turn off the faucet. Ta-da! But just how often do hands need washing? According to the Montana Department of Public Health and Human Services, children should wash hands before eating, preparing food, and after using the toilet. Child care providers should wash after touching bare body parts, using the toilet, changing diapers, coughing, sneezing, blowing your nose, and immediately before preparing food or feeding a child. Whew, that's some hand washing. But proper washing reduces the spread of illness, prevents food contamination, and makes everyone in your child care happier. Except, of course, the germs. Be sure to visit childcareresources.org for lots of information on child care.